Hi everyone, so real quickly we're going to go through the process of setting up Screencastify. This is a Google extension that you're going to install within your browser and it's super easy to use. So basically what you want to do first is you're going to go to screencastify.com and you need to do that within Chrome. Don't do it from Safari or Firefox or Internet Explorer or something else. This is a Chrome extension. Once you get to that website you're going to click here, add to Chrome, it's free. And that's going to take you here, which is the Chrome Web Store where you can install your extensions. Click on Add to Chrome. Now, this is going to start taking you through a series of permissions and, and access to things. So first thing, you're going to say, do you want to add this extension? Yes. Add extension. Now down here you'll notice that it's taking a second to install and then it asks you if you want to sync and I highly recommend it. What that means is that any other computer that you're logged into your Chrome account with will automatically include that extension when you're in Chrome. After some time it's going to take you to this setup window. The first thing you're going to do is make sure this is checked. You want your videos that you record to automatically save to Google Drive. Think of that as your backup. What's going to happen is it's going to install, it's going to create a new folder within your Google Drive account called Screencastify. And all the videos that you make using Screencastify will be saved there. You can publish them to YouTube, you can download them, you can do whatever you want, but you want to make sure that you have this backup set up. Then you go sign in with Google. It'll probably make you sign in again, even if you already are signed in. It looks like I'm already signed in, so that's fine. You, of course, you want it to allow access to your camera and your microphone. You're drawing and annotation tools. That's so you can interact using your mouse or your trackpad with Screencastify. Click Next. Okay. Click Allow here. That's just additional permissions that you need to set up so that it can integrate with your browser. And you're done. Now, if you look up here, you'll see this little icon. That is how you begin using Screencastify. It's not, you don't have to go to screencastify.com. You don't have to go to any particular piece of software on your computer. This is all you do. You click on this button, Screencastify, and that gets you started. Part two of this video will go through how to record videos in that entire process.